In this demo, we will show how to configure the Anybus MBus to Modbus TCP gateway. This small Anybus gateway allows us to connect any meter, sensor or actuator running MBus to a Modbus TCP network. In this example, I have connected three meters to my Anybus gateway. A water sensor from Census, an electricity meter from ABB and a heat meter from Natrima. They are all connected to my Anybus gateway via MBUS. I can connect up to 20 MBUS devices at one time. To start my configuration, I run the Chip Tool software, which I've downloaded from anybus.com and installed on my computer. This software scans the Modbus TCP network for any Anybus MBUS gateways and has consequently found my Anybus MBUS to Modbus TCP gateway. I right-click and select IP Configuration to configure the IP settings of the gateway. I check the box Use DHCP, which means that the Anybus gateway will be assigned an IP address from the DHCP server. It is also possible to assign static IP addresses. I click Config and I am then asked to enter my password. The default password is Admin. I click OK and my gateway now restarts. When the gateway is back online, I can right-click again and choose HTTP to get to a web interface where I can configure the gateway. In the Start screen, I can see some general configuration information, but the real important stuff is in the Meter tab. Here I can see the actual meters that are connected to the gateway. The system has detected the electricity, heat and water meter and map them to different Modbus registers. 10 for the electricity meter, 180 for the heat meter and 360 for the water meter. So let's expand one of our meters to see how the NBUS data has been converted to Modbus. The electricity meter from ABB starts at Modbus register 10. The first registers of the device, up to register 20, are information about the device itself, serial number, manufacturer and what it measures, electricity in this case. Between register 20 and 30 we see the first meter value sent from the electricity meter which is energy. This has been measured by the ABB electricity meter to be 194. The energy value will be written to Modbus registers 20 to 30 with different offsets. We can see these offsets in the gateway manual. All values from the meter are displayed in two different ways. As a signed integer with offsets 0 to 3, meaning that this will be written on register 20 to 23, and as a floating point on register 24 to 25. After that we have the scale factor, which will be written on register 26, type field unit on 27, and time stamp on 28 to 29. So each value is assigned 10 Modbus registers. Please refer to the manual of the Anybus gateway where you can see what is mapped to the different registers, meter values, scale factor, etc. If there are any values from the electricity meter that I don't want to map to the Modbus side, I can deallocate them and they will not show up on the Modbus network. I can also choose Edit to allocate them to another register address. In this case we'll change the value Power to Modbus register 30. So the Meter tab is the mostly used tab, but there is also some useful information in the other tabs as well. Under Configuration, I can change, for example, how often I want the NBUS gateway to read out values from the NBUS meters. Let's say I want to change this to 60 seconds. Under Server, I can see which Modbus mode and Modbus port we're using. Under Security, I can check boxes for whether I want authentication for users or not. And in the User tab, I can set permissions for the gateway. Finally, in the Services tab, I can see the current version we have for the software. When I'm finished with my configuration, I click Log Out, and I'm done.